Here's a quick video on how to drain a two zone boiler. So basically we got a call that the second floor wasn't getting heat. And uh, you know, we put our thermal imaging up and we found that the, um, the return for the, the attic side was, uh, was cold and the other side was warm. So basically um, these heating systems work in a loop. So the water goes pushed down through here and comes up out of this pipe and gets distributed through the two zones here. Right, goes all the way up through the apartment, makes a full circle, and then comes back down through these two pipes here. So basically what you wanna do is you wanna get this water to fill in reverse and the reverse flow that it fills, that it actually flows when it's on. And to do that, you're gonna shut off the shut off valve right after the drain, right? Because the water fills through this piece here. So the water comes in here from the water supply and then runs up through here and then it will push up through this side. So we're gonna close off the first floor and leave the attic open, okay? And then on this side, the same thing. We're closing off the first floor, leaving the attic open. These are the zone valves. So you're gonna put it on open manually by pushing this lever all the way up. Of course, you have to make sure your boiler's off. You don't want your circulator moving when, when the pipes are closed. And then what that does is it leaves this basically open. This line is open completely. And this one is completely closed. So all the water that you're pushing in through here, you know, when you lift this up, you're gonna give extra water pressure. So all the water that's coming in through here is forced to go through only one zone, which is the attic. It's usually harder to get to the top floors, which is why we have this up. So we're getting a higher amount of water pressure through there. Now you can actually hear the, the air coming through the system. I don't know if you can hear that noise. That's little bubbles that are walk that are working its way through the water. And then this drain is connected right in here. So what you're looking for is that the stream of water is going through straight without any bubbles in it. You could actually see that there's a little bit of water, a little air still in there, but it's a pretty straight flow. Once you get a smooth flow, that means all the air is out. Let's just put this back in here. We're pretty good at this point. I had it running for a while. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure that you put this lever back down so that way you're back to the regular pressure that the boiler's supposed to have before you do anything. And then you're gonna close this valve here so that way the water stops draining out. That's gonna give the boiler a chance to finish filling up. Give it a couple of seconds to pressurize the way that it should. And you can check here on the pressure gauge. The blue shows the water pressure. Okay, see it stopped, it's normal. Below 20, which is good, about 15. Now that that's done, we can set this back into normal. See it works automatically, that closed now. We're gonna open up the zone valve here. Open up the valve here. Open up the valve here. And now it has the proper flow. Once you turn it on, once that's done, just flip the switch and your boiler is bled. Now you just have to wait for the water to heat back up, which this needle will start to move its way back up once the water's heated. And that's that.